Leg back! Try to leg back! Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. All right, guys, the Finley Wrestling Tournament is officially two days away. So we got the next tournament on the list on November 20th. On a Saturday, we are going to Finley, Ohio. It's currently about you know five and a half hours from where we're at at UW Parkside. And it's currently Thursday night right now. It is 9 p.m. Um, so what's going to happen is, is I'm going to go to sleep. We're going to wake up at 9 o'clock. We're going to get a quick workout in. Uh, from there, we're going to shower. We're going to head on the road. And then once we get to Finley, I think we're going to get another workout in just so we can everyone can make weight, chill at the hotel, and then the next day, wrestling time. So this tournament is going to be a great test for everyone on the team because it's kind of multi-divisional. Uh, so there's a lot of D2 teams. There's even some D1 teams. You know, of course, the guys, you know, bringing kind of the younger class and just kind of like the non-starters. But also just like, for instance, the guy who won it at 125 last year, he's going to be here. I'm sure a lot of other guys, but you know, we're looking to make a statement because why not? So in previous years, there was 20 plus teams over nine different states. So it's going to be a really good tournament. And I also just want to say, guys, thank you guys so much for the recent support on the channel uh, with the past tournament vid and then the dual meet video. It seemed like you guys really liked that. And for the new subscribers, Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And also, if you're not, what are you doing? Brah, just, brah. Okay, Karat, dude, I can't film when this dude is just staring at me, making I faces. like two seconds. The, dude's, at, dude's editing the podcast. Oh, we got to talk about the podcast. Also, Krasny and I started a podcast. It's not a wrestling podcast. It's literally just like me and him and our thoughts of what's going on. Just a bunch of funny stuff. We bring on guests all the time. I mean, there's only two episodes. So uh, link is in the description. It's called the Wanna See It podcast. But also guys, if you guys did not know, I'm doing a shoe giveaway at 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna give it away a wrestling shoe. You just pick it out and I'll buy it for... You guys can just pick out a shoe and I'll get it for you. Um, so that's kind of a little cool thing I'm gonna do. That being said, guys... Uh... Let's go to sleep. I never burn out with my Glock, yeah, it's turn up. I'ma get this cheddar, I know better than to bar us. I was in a cellar, now my jello when I pop out. So I was trying to catch her, now I turn it to a cock. I wipe the block out, mop out. Tootie when I hop out, cops out, call outs. They ain't know we ball out. He down, chill out, I can shut the heat down. She down, she loud, yeah, I turn it to a free now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, guys, so we just made it to the hotel. Um, now, it's nice because now uh, we got our own beds, so one per bed, which is going to be nice. Uh, but this hotel is super fancy. I think there's a wedding tonight. Uh, but we got here, six-hour drive, finally done. Um, I was super, super uncomfortable, like the whole ride. Uh, the seat didn't recline in anything. Um, but we got a little quick workout in um, where we are wrestling. There's going to be 10 mats, so apparently the tournament is actually going to go really fast. Like, apparently finals are going to start at, like, 2 or 3 p.m. So hopefully we're even home by, like, 10 p.m. at night because that would be nice. Um, but now what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to the grocery store to pick up some stuff um, I am thankfully a pound and a half a whole pound and a half under um, so I can have hopefully You know some sort of Pedialyte or I brought the liquid IV, but I kind of use that for tomorrow um, But we're gonna get some more food um, brought some food. I'll share that later um, But that's what's going on. I'm so I'm so excited uh, I, I, I've been feeling so much, you know, so good like on the mat Like I just feel like I'm flowing better and everything I'm more confident in my shots and I'm really excited to go out there and perform and you know I hope I can do that for you guys and also listen to this Caden down here that just popped up why not dude it's free also I'm giving away a free pair of shoes at 100k and we're almost there Get a brand name friendly, got me a check, uh, I'ma go spend it Kissing the neck, yeah, she in the belly Need no flights, cause they don't spend it Betty on my side, she could down, that's some money, do. Feel so high, never land, never wanted to Two snake eyes, don't watch what I'm about to do I'ma go slide for a bag with the money blue Real estate, I bring the cash Need no brakes, I'm on the gas Burn the clip, I'm riding your ass Louis V. Price, got a bag Mark, Mark, clear my back when I be getting on the road Yeah, racks in my jeans, money stairs where I go I Yeah, house inside when I be kicking out the door, yeah. got bands with height, we in the same boat, yeah. Two black guns parked up by the kickstand, two, two, threes packed up by the hitman. Now one, one, yeah, call as you wish, man. Go for me, for your boy, I don't miss, man. Black suburban, cash ain't free, I'm brand new, Birkin.
Legends can't swear me though Pain be hurting, I got heat though God keep serving, it's my ego They keep talking, I do me though Hometown villain, hometown hero They keep lurking, watch your feet bro I'm be spinning, you know me ho Yeah, came in with a brand new bag Yeah, came in, yeah, blue turn rash Suicide doors, hit a tent all black Revenue your pay straight in cash Brand new slugs, get a brand name family Got me a check, uh, I'ma go spend it Kissing the neck, yeah, she in the belly Need no flights, cause they don't spend it me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. You know, I, I'm thinking about what I should say. What would be something I could say that could that could bring a positive out of this? You know, clearly that match, it was close the whole time. It was one to one. I got to my shots. I got to his leg, um, I think three times there. Um, and he didn't get to my leg at all. We did, we did that very well in that match. I got up pretty easily. Um, I did that very well. I did a, did a nice job sealing off. We, we mat returned him. We did a lot of things right. But in a wrestling match, anything can happen. And he clearly hit the slickest move on me that probably anyone has hit. See, this is why I, I hate making videos when, you know, when I lose, that sucks. But, you know, I like it because it's like the journey. It's like how I'm progressing. That's what, you know, that's why I do this. So I can look back and see, um, you know, my, my future self can look back on these videos. But it's just like, I hate, I hate making videos, recording, me talking after I just got absolutely destroyed and just, but what we can't be is we can't sulk about this and we can't be pessimistic about this. We gotta continue to go on, we gotta keep pushing. Um, that dude was a great wrestler. He's ranked 16th on Intermat right now. But clearly, you know, that whole match, I know I could have beat him. Um, absolutely, there's just a couple things I needed to do. For instance, when he put my head on the inside, I just need to put my opposite knee up, hoist him up in a single leg and take him over. I'll show position here. I think this was the second period. Um, something happened to my rotator cuff. And from this point on in the tournament and even till now, I, I literally can't even touch my right shoulder, like let alone like lift it up without it being like severe pain. And I'm not, I'm not gonna make excuses because I 
that's like I I don't want to do that and I don't want to say and I don't want to make excuses because that's my biggest thing especially with injury because it's like you like I don't know it's just so stupid but anyways that was match one um, now I'm gonna show you some highlights of my team and then we're gonna get into my second match
my gosh, dude. You know, I don't remember the last time I O2 barbecued, but that's besides the point. Man's, man's literally just took me down at will. Um, what we learned, my defense, I, I got to get better at defending the legs. I got to get better at sprawling. I got to be quicker. Um, but every time literally I go for a fake or I'd get him to get moving, um, he, you know, once he dropped down, he'd go right to a leg there. He was, he just wrestled better. He wrestled a better match and kudos to him. Again, what we did well there is on bottom. We did a great job of sealing off. We stood up, you know, but that's wrestling. Everyone has good days. Everyone has great days. Some people have not so great days. Anyone can win or lose at any point or time. And I'm not here saying I'm this, I'm this big honcho national champ. Heck, last year I went one in three. But I'll get to this at the end of the video too. Um, but what our head coach Nick was talking about afterward, he was saying how some, you know, some of the guys had, you know, individual performances that, you know, we might not have been expecting expecting or you know we just fell short of our goals there but there's two things that you can do you can either sulk around about it and you know be complaining making excuses to why things are that they are or you can look in the mirror and get better get back in the practice room look over film hit the weights and keep persevering because because that's the only things that you guys can do no matter what happens it's not really what happens to you it's what you do about it it's how you respond that's why so many people are stuck at certain positions because they don't know how to respond to correctly to things that happen to them. You know, you gotta win as a champion, you have to lose as a champion, and you gotta take a step back sometimes and be honest with yourself and actually have a conversation. What did I do wrong? What can I do better? What habits am I gonna start making now so I can help better my future? Listen, I, I like to take things from an all positive perspective. And of course you can be upset about losses. I'm very upset. I went 0-2, but I have way more optimism from now looking back on seeing how can these guys beat me and I'm going to fix those things in the wrestling room. I'm going to go back in the wrestling room because I'm going to pinpoint what I did wrong. I'm going to pinpoint what guys did to me and I'm going to work on that in the practice room. That's all there is to it. It's only the beginning. It's early on in the wrestling year. It's only November. Well, I'll talk at the end of the video. Let's, let's roll some more highlights. Sauce it up. Rain, rain, calling on my phone. Baby, baby, yeah, 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 leave me alone. Rain, rain, calling on my phone. Baby, yeah, yeah, leave me alone. Whoa, 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 no, I'm all again, nah. No, whoa, motherfuckers tell me like, whoa, whoa. I guess they mad, yeah, they mad that they can't get a bag like me. Shit anymore. Yeah, I've been in my lungs, but who can't show? Shotty let me on the road, but who get on? Me and city lights, let me right back home. I'm just trying to find my purpose and my soul. Man, I just really want it back, but they left high. Body up, fucking bones, yeah, the pain hurts. Heart is right to the stone, yeah, my heart burns. With the rise to be cold, so my mind lies. Rain, rain, calling on my phone. Baby, baby, yeah, 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 leave me long. Rain, rain, calling on my phone. Way to go, champ. Yeah. Good work. 
But as I said earlier in the video, um, you know, what Nick was talking to us about uh, is you can either be pessimistic about it, be sluggish about it, or you can turn it around, you can look at it in an optimistic way. You know, what can I do better? What can I change? And how can I improve? But all in all, I'm grateful to have this opportunity, even though, you know, I didn't get, get the outcome I wanted. A lot of the team wrestled really, really great, and we're gonna keep putting in the work. If you guys did enjoy this video, however, I would really appreciate if you guys would drop a like on the video because that really helps me out, uh, get on people's more recommended pages. And also, if you guys want to subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. We're super close to 100,000. But thanks, guys, for watching. Once again, we'll see you guys in the next one. This is Caden's Vlog. Dreams to Reality merch. Link in bio.